National Bank Transfer Day took place on Saturday, with activists calling on people to move their money from corporate and commercial banks to local banks and credit unions. The campaign has attracted national attention, and in October alone, more than 650,000 people became new credit union members, according to the Credit Union National Association. Sue Hildebrand spoke with people coming out of the main post office in Chico, California, to see if they support the strategy. I do support the arguments of the protesters. I think that the, the protesters. I think that our money needs to stay in the local communities. I own a local business, and so it helps me too. I definitely support that argument and agree with what they're doing. I wish I had time to do it, but I don't. So I, I would do it, but I can't right now. You know. Um, I not only support it, I've already done it myself. So, and you know, it just seems to me that, you know, credit unions um, have a broader uh, local base and um, you know provide services at lower costs. Uh, so that that's why I did it. Well, I support the concept. I I can't afford to do it. We have a business to run, and the local banks don't cut it. They just don't provide the breadth of services that I need. I'm too lazy to to do it. If my wife does it, great. Uh, I certainly do. I mean, the criminality of the of the top four banks has been well established. Uh, Bank of America, what they had to pay six hundred eighty million dollars just to get out of some lawsuits that have been filed in the last two years. Um, and you dig into the history of it, and it goes way back, and it's criminality from the beginning. I totally agree. Keeping the money、uh, local is a lot better, and you know, employ local people and keep that money locally. Well, banks, institutionally wise, have created a system that、uh, it's a marriage with、uh, no divorce options because of、uh, you pay bills,、uh, you might、uh, automatically out of your checking account, and and maybe you're paying four or five bills, and then you try to transfer it. Try to handle the paperwork and the phone calls to get it transferred. And if you miss up one call, or miss up one transfer, all of a sudden somebody,、uh, you know, a PG&E is reporting as late payment and hurts your credit. If it keeps it in the community, that's what I support. You know, I'd rather like get a cup of coffee at a local coffee shop than an actual like corporation because, you know, it tastes better and you know it's just not as expensive, and it helps those that we know and care for in our community. No, because I don't know anything about it. It's a little bit too quick for me. I'd have to study it a little while. The system we have now just doesn't serve people on the local level anymore. It's designed only for the big, big players, and I think that's highly damaging to our society. So, anyway. Oh, I support it. Competition drives the animal. Competition's good. Well, it's it seems obvious to me. Money that we spend with locally owned businesses here. I have a couple locally owned businesses myself that I own. And、uh, I think it's been four or five years since I've even set foot in a Walmart.、Um, I'm, I don't even go to Safeway. I buy food at farmers markets. I absolutely will bank with local banks、uh, and do my business with local businesses whenever I can. You just heard the voices of Jessica Souter, Michaela Whaley, Douglas Ferguson, Norm Galassi, Clint Rice, Ben Hills, Carol Perkins, Bob Maholland, Sean Rabs, Bill Henderson, David Zook, Gino Hanico, and Steve Pankhurst, all from Chico, California, talking about National Bank Transfer Day. FSRN's Sue Hildebrand recorded and produced this segment.